We're headed to Griggstown, New Jersey, on our way to Yorktown. One, one, two, we're here today on this momentous occasion to recognize that 240 years ago we had soldiers from both the French and Continental Army that crossed this section behind us and then made their way down towards Yorktown which would inevitably lead to the siege of Yorktown and the last major battle of the American Revolution. Um, we're giving the people a presentation about the 1st Rhode Island Regiment. That's who we're representing. Also known as the Black Regiment. Under General Washington. What do you want more? Okay, we're about 80% African American, 15% Native American, and 5% everything else considered non-white. Okay, we fought in many battles, many battles right in this area. From from Mass, from Rhode Island all the way down to Virginia. I take my rifle now. Look what I'm doing now. Remember what I did when I was aiming the musket? Bang! <laughs> what was the difference between what I did and what he did? I think it's important uh, that we learn about our history because it brings to us what happened, and we can bring our kids through it. They will realize why it is important to you know know the sacrifices that were done by people and our and the reason we are America today. The left wheel. Mark. During the time of the Revolutionary War, there was uh, a small percentage of African Americans that were free. Uh, many more were enslaved. Um, a lot of people aren't aware that there was slavery in the North, uh, in New Jersey. Uh, there was a significant uh, portion of the population, even here in Somerset County, that were slaves. Um, the, the unit that we represent, the First Rhode Island, was made up of largely slaves. Um, slave owners were compensated in order for um, in order to have their slaves uh, join the First Rhode Island Regiment. Having grown up in this area. I know the Revolutionary War history. It's great that we can support this because there are many people that do not know how significant New Jersey was in the Revolutionary War. More, more battles were fought here than almost anywhere else in the 13 colonies. And over the years, the Board of Commissioners has been invested a lot of money in preserving open space and historic resources to celebrate our rich history, as Nato just mentioned. So it's great to see events like this, and this is more we want to encourage more like this with the release of our, our new preservation plan, which has a historic preservation element, which is the first for the county. So we're looking to adopt that as part of the county master plan later this year, early next year, to really highlight the rich history of Somerset County. The Rochambeau is the top general for the French, and there's nearly 6,000 troops marching from Newport, Rhode Island, all the way eventually to Yorktown, Virginia. And we are trying to arrive there secretly because uh, General Cornwallis is in camp there currently, and we intend to surprise him, surround him, and uh, take possession of Yorktown. So the French are very interested in limiting British power, certainly after the French and Indian War, which ended in 1763. The French lose their colony of Canada, uh, and they feel that the British are certainly, uh, you know, getting too wealthy and too powerful. So when the Americans uh, decide to rebel against the British, the French decided to get involved. Without the French, we would not be in the position we are now. We are on the verge of the, perhaps the greatest victory of the war. And let's face it, we are, we are fighting uh, the most powerful empire in the world, which seems almost impossible. But with the help of the French, I believe our chances are very good. I think uh, Americans should be aware that uh, the 13 colonies needed help at that time. Uh, to have alliances uh, certainly at that time was very important for the American cause. Uh, we didn't have enough cannons, gunpowder, uh, uniform shoes, all that stuff had to be gotten from other places. So it's important in today's world to understand that at certain times you do need help and you have to have good relations with other nations.